There's an epidemic of sculpture theft going on in Santa Fe. Metal artwork has been disappearing from outside hotels and from other public places, but the thieves are not apparently taking this stuff for its artistic value. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the Newsplex. Crystal? And Dick, four of the sculptures were made locally, which business managers say makes these thefts hit home. This table full of scrap metal used to be two pieces of art worth more than $3,000. It looks like they were here and they've been cut off. This piece used to look like this. Police said the art was stolen from two Santa Fe hotels, one from La Posada Inn, the other from the Inn of the Governors, one taken right from the entrance just off of a main road. Somehow figured out how to remove this all the way from that. The Inn of the Governors has had two wind sculptures stolen this month. Particularly sad to me given Santa Fe is a community that normally really celebrates its arts and the impact it has on our community. But they're not the only ones who've been hit. Police say careless copper thieves also struck at a Santa Fe school last week, snagging a still sculpture that had been donated. In January, brazen bronze bandits walked right up this driveway and took two three-foot-tall bronze deer statues from the front yard. But to have any kind of theft occur is bad, but to do something that really takes from one of our traditions is even worse. Now, so far, our police have only been able to find remnants of two of the six stolen pieces of stolen art. They did admit to cutting up the pieces to sell. They are Chad and Renee Solis. Both are charged with possession of stolen property. Police say a tip led them to the pair's home where they had the pieces lying on their kitchen floor. First saying they found them in an arroyo. Days later, one admitted they nabbed the pricey art to pocket some cash. They knew it was copper and copper sells for a lot of money. The still wind sculptures were all made at the Santa Fe based Wyford Gallery. They were the ones who identified the pieces. Back to you. All right, Crystal. Police are also asking recycling centers to be alert for metal pieces that look like they may have come from a sculpture.